this video I will show you how to create and manage a menu in our website. So when we create a project in blocks and add the navigation, by default this navigation will be using the primary menu. And basically the primary menu is the menu we can edit using the menu manager. You can access this from this icon in the bottom right corner or you can go to window menu manager. So from here we can add as many links as we want and for example when we create the new pages we can set this page to be available in primary menu. You can see it is automatically added to our page. Also, when we go to the page settings of any page, we have this option to link this page in primary menu. So if we uncheck this, you will see that we no longer have contact here. Primary menu is very cool and it allows us to create the menus which we can easily navigate to and change when we want, but I actually like to use some other technique which is the manual editing of the menu. So if we select this menu, you can see that in the sidebar we have this option here to use the primary menu or none. Obviously we have the WordPress primary menu as well, but this is not the topic of this video. This is the separate topic which, as I said, I will be covering in the separate course in the future. So. When you switch the source of this menu to none, what will happen? You will be able to select each of the items in your menu manually. You will be able to duplicate it, change it to anything you want. You will be able to assign any type of interaction, for example, open drop down menu. And if we do that inside the primary menu manager, the only interactions you can assign to it is the navigator page, navigator URL, open menu and drop down divider. So by switching to none, you have much more control of what you want to achieve with your menu. The only downside of this is that if you delete this and add it again, you won't have all of the links you have built and you will start from the menu you have inside the primary menu, which is the default way of managing menus and blocks. So what I recommend to do is create the basic structure for your menu using the primary menu. So create as many pages as you want, drag and drop them to create the order you want. And when you are done, I recommend to switch to the source none, which will allow you to further customize your menu. But when you, let's say, accidentally close it, delete it and add again, you will at least have the menu structure you have built using the menu manager. Mm -hmm.